So have you just booked a Marriott Exchange or Getaway through Interval International? Maybe you want to know the villa type or even the view you're going to get when you check in? Well in today's video, I'm going to show you how. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before I get into timeshare tip number 12 of the 25 timeshare tips of Vlogmas 2020, I just want to let you know on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you want to see, hit subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you see every video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you something that I actually helped put together many years ago that gives you some guidance potentially on if you've made an exchange or booked a getaway into a Marriott property through Interval International. This kind of guide or chart list, not exactly sure what you call it, but it will give you an idea of what you can likely expect when you get to the resort. So just so you know, whenever you book something through Interval International, there is no view guarantee. The only thing you're ultimately guaranteed is the unit size and the occupancy of the villa that you've booked. So every Marriott Vacation Club timeshare villa has what we call a unit code assigned to it. That unit code will be specific to the villa size, the villa type, and the view of that villa. So when an owner takes their week, or even Marriott takes weeks and deposits them into Interval International, that original ownership, maybe they owned an ocean view, maybe they owned a garden view, whatever that view is and whatever the unit size is, is obviously attached to that deposit and that deposit gets placed into Interval International. Now keep in mind, like I said earlier, there's no guarantee that if you exchange into one of those ocean views or ocean fronts, that you're gonna get that back. So when you've booked a getaway or an exchange into a Marriott timeshare property through Interval International, you can actually go to the My History page in your Interval account and find what we call the unit code. It's going to be a four or five character code in there. If it is a five character code, it is going to begin with either a D or an H. And those codes, that D or H, really is rather meaningless for this discussion. So just pay attention to the last four digits of the code, or if it's a four digit code, the entire four characters. So you may see codes like ZZAA, ZZAB, those types of codes. It's gonna just look like a random set of numbers. You may even see OV in there. OF in those codes as well. Just a myriad of different codes. But some of the resorts actually have the same unit codes for the same types of villas. ZZAA usually refers to a two bedroom lock off with really no specific view of any kind. So like Marriott Grand Vista, the two bedrooms there would have a ZZAA if it's a lock off. Same over at Marriott's Harbor Lake here in Orlando as well. So once you know that code, you want to take it over to the Timeshare Users Group Forums, the BBS, and I'm gonna put a link specifically to it in the description box below, but it will take you to a listing of all of the codes by all of the different resorts. So find the resort in that list, the resort you exchange into, and identify that code on that list, and it will tell you specifically what the original deposit was behind that unit you booked into. So while there's no guarantee that the actual code you have booked into is what you're going to get, chances are still pretty good because based on our experience, we still have not had a situation where they have placed us into a unit that is different than that underlying code from the deposit that we exchanged or booked into. So we actually had this situation a few years ago where we booked into an ocean view villa at Koalina Beach Club in Hawaii and they have different views there. Obviously they have ocean view and island view. And we had actually confirmed into what the underlying deposit was actually an ocean view villa. So when we actually arrived, we got an ocean view villa. Now some resorts are obviously better at keeping you in that villa type that you've confirmed into and some resorts not as much. So it can be kind of hit and miss, but for the most part, like I say, we have actually been confirmed into and what we got was always been the same 100% of the time so far. So a pretty good track record that timeshare resorts, Marriott timeshare resorts, are keeping exchangers 
and people who have booked getaways into the same villa type and view as the underlying deposit. Some other resorts that you may be interested in knowing specifically what type of villa you've booked into is where we are right now at Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve here in Orlando. They have something like 12 or more different types of villas. They in fact have three different types of two bedroom villas. They have a two bedroom lock off, they have a two bedroom flat, they have a two bedroom deluxe, and they have a two bedroom townhome. So I guess it's actually four different types of two bedroom villas that they have here at Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve in Orlando. So you might want to know specifically what type. Maybe you want to know are you in a townhome where both bedrooms are upstairs? Or are you in a two bedroom deluxe, which is a little bit larger. It has two full one bedroom units as part of a lock off. And maybe you want to know kind of ahead of time what you're going to have. Or maybe you're going to be in a two bedroom dedicated that has lake views out here behind me. Just kind of a good thing to know. So take that code that you get from my history in Interval International's website in your account. Go to that list that's in the description box below and check it out. This goes across all of the resorts in the Marriott system, so feel free to check it out. But again, like I say, there's no guarantee. Maybe they need to move some people around on check-in day and you get bumped and somebody else ends up getting a different room instead. Anything is possible with Interval. There is no guarantee. Interval essentially wipes out the view, even though there's still a view and a unit type in the underlying deposit. Like I said very early on here, the only thing guaranteed is the unit size and the number of occupants in that villa. Okay, so there you have it. Just a way to maybe find out ahead of time what villa type and view you're going to be in before heading to the resort. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos about Timeshare, check out the description box below for another Timeshare tip. You know it. Check this one out right up here. And YouTube, they think you're going to like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.